What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of FAQOV with your host Phil Freeman here where I answer all of your questions having to do with singing or speaking and the proper use of your voice in a healthy and happy way. So today's question comes from Reddit user POJ for why and the question is how do I create a waver and rasp in my voice without hurting myself? And this is a very important question to address because it's very very easy to hurt yourself if you don't have the right mechanics, if you don't have the right understanding of how your voice works. Works. The first thing to understand is that the rasp does not come from anywhere in the throat. It does not get produced by the vocal cords. It's very important to understand that a clear, a clear and clean tone um, exists all the way up to here. And what happens here? The soft palate is responsible for that, responsible for that sound. And it's the same thing that's responsible for the set the snore sound when you uh, when you snore and uh, it's responsible for catching the air and letting it reverberate your voice reverberate around the room so and by the way I'm going to be doing a demonstration of water me downs exposure which you had posted on there uh, my friend and so that way I can explain what I demonstrated here in uh, just a few moments so I'm gonna take the line I try so hard not to expose my heart and then I'll explain the reasons I was able to produce that sound without hurting myself. So here it goes. And I try so hard not to expose my heart. Now the reason I was able to produce that sound without hurting myself was one, I had proper breath support. Very, uh, very important to understand that you need to have good, strong breathing awareness and how your diaphragm operates in order to have that support that's needed to get up to that note. Second thing, head position, making sure that the head is tucked in and you're not reaching up for the note. That's very, very important to understand that. You want to keep your air passage aligned with your face and aligned with your mouth so that way you can get the sound out. And then the third thing is the soft palate. When you make that sound, your soft palate actually releases. This is a tense, well, not necessarily a tense soft palate, but a taut soft palate. I try so hard. So with that said, when you go so, you're letting the soft palate do like this. It's like a flag flapping in the wind at a rapid pace. So, and to be able to get up to that note without hurting yourself, there's also a fourth element to this. It's your face. It's the muscles in your face, your facial flexibility, as I like to call it. So when you go for so, make sure that your face goes up this way. Don't let the tension lead down to the cords in your neck. Make sure that the tension stays up here. So hard! If you go so, it's not going to work. So you can see that by lifting your head and not activating these, it's, all, it's physically impossible to hit that note. So you can't do that. You're going to cause a lot of vocal damage if you do that. So those are the elements that I want you to think about. Breath, clean tone up to here, making sure that the face is up where it needs to be, head position, and activating that soft palate. So I probably didn't say that in order and I apologize, but I hope that you found this useful POJ4Y and that you spread the knowledge to everyone else that you know. Thank you to everyone else for watching this video. I hope everyone found this useful. Always remember, practice makes progress and if you uh, feel like you want to find your voice with somebody, I do offer online lessons, one-on-one -on -one lessons here in Pennsylvania and and, uh, I'd be happy to uh, talk to you and help you out if that's something that you desire to do. So with that said, go find your voice. Take care until next time. Are you with us? Are you